All right, Nate, the vinyl guide here in Shibuya, Tokyo, and uh, getting ready to check out Disc Union. Again, multiple floors. We're going to start with uh, the jazz and rare groove soul and work our way up. All right, let's head down there now. Okay, we are downstairs in the Shibuya Disc Union. Uh, this is the soul, jazz, groove section. And uh, it's got some interesting stuff on the wall, some good stuff, actually. This uh, John Lee Hooker is one that I would look for for a long time. Recently found it, otherwise I would be taking that home with me. Um, I'll tell you, the, the shop is uh, well curated, I guess is a good way to say it, but prices aren't that good here. Uh, Shibuya is a bit of a tourist area of town, so uh, prices here are at a premium. Uh, you can get these sort of prices, uh, this sort of product on eBay for uh, certainly less than they're charging here. Um, example, case in point, this John Lee Hooker, roughly about uh, 220 US dollars. You can generally find that on eBay for between 150 and 200. Um, also, what I don't like about it is the uh, well, it's not so much now, but it, there's not a whole lot of organization here. All the blues is just kind of dumped in. So I don't know where Lightning Hopkins is versus, uh, you know, Freddie King. It's all just kind of dumped in here. So it's uh, kind of hard to find what it is you're looking for. I mean, it's fun to crate dig if you have the time. Uh, but uh, quite honestly, there's just a few titles I'm looking for. Uh, and I wanted to go right to them. And this didn't enable me to do it. They also cram all sorts of records in here. So uh, it wasn't that pleasant of experience. You have to just kind of pull them out or take a handful out while you while you look through the rest. Uh, and also, it's all kind of, it's not really organized well. I mean, Toto and ABBA. Uh, yeah. Anyway, um, so let's head on down over here to the jazz section here. This is all the used soul funk and rare groove stuff. Oh, here's a... Here's an interesting one. Let me take a little bit of a closer look at this one. Um, here's the Jazz. Now, again, prices here aren't really that competitive. Uh, but if you want a uh, souvenir from Japan and you like Jazz records, well, this is a place where you can go and get that over with fairly quick. Find, uh, find a rarity. There's a Bud Powell 10-inch uh, up there. Let me give it that 10-inch. Uh, that's the Volume 1. It's about 550 bucks. Got the Lee Morgan uh, album, The Cooker, Blue Note uh, 1578, for about 550 bucks. Uh, got a message from Art Blakey Holiday for Skins, uh, Volumes 1 and 2, about $250 each. Sonny Rollins at the Village Vanguard, about 325 bucks. And then uh, you've got uh, all sorts of other records to dig through here. So again, it's a, it's a nice shop, it's well curated. A little bit of a frustrating experience, and you'll certainly pay for the records that you get here. Um, you're not going to find any bargains, that's for sure. But it's still a decent place to look through and a place to spend a little bit of time while you're here in Tokyo. All right. Well, which, uh, if I don't talk to you more, this is Nate for the Vinyl Guide. www.thevinylguide.com. Cheers.